The lack operon is de depicted below. Describe the series of events that occurs when the level of lactose in the environment increases that results in the production of the enzymes needed to metabolize lactose. Normally, the operator is bound by this repressor because this repressor is in its active form and the operon is off. When lactose is around, some of it will exist as its isomer, allolactose. Allolactose, you'll recall, binds the lac repressor. So this is the lac repressor. Allolactose can bind it. So let's say this is allolactose and it comes along and binds. Binding converts the lac repressor to its inactive form. So this is an uh, allolactose is an allosteric regulator. It binds to the lac repressor and induces a conformational change that puts it in its inactive form. Lac repressor can't bind the operator anymore. It cannot bind the operator anymore once it's in its inactive form. So we end up with the lac repressor bound and it puts it in its inactive form. When it's bound to L-lactose, it, it will no longer then be bound to the operator. RNA polymerase binds the promoter, and the genes for lactose breakdown, utilization, are transcribed. That concludes this section of educator.com on molecular genetics. Thanks for visiting.